Om means infinite knowledge or essence of breath, life, everything that exists. Omics refers to the science dealing with the use of technologies to explore the roles of various biomolecules that make up the cells of an organism. The Human Genome Project and the first draft of the Human Proteome are two crowning achievements by the global omics community thus far. With an aim to understand the human biology at the cellular level through concerted efforts of the best scientists from around the globe, the Human Proteome Organization proudly announces its most ambitious project yet, the Human Proteome Project. The goals of the Human Proteome Project are two. The first is to build the parts list to describe at least one product from each of the approximately 20,000 protein coding genes and to identify and characterize the functions of the post-translational modifications and splice isoforms and sequence variants of those individual proteins. The second is to embed proteomics, to integrate proteomics with genomics, epigenomics, metabolomics, the integrated omics approach to really understand biological networks, pathways that drive normal biological processes and pathogenic processes in various diseases. The Human Proteome Project's bold vision is to understand what it is to be human in strictly molecular terms. We have 50 teams, 25 focused on individual chromosomes and their biology, and another 26 focused on particular diseases, biological processes and what we call resource pillars of antibody profiling, bioinformatics and mass spectrometry. Chromosome-based Human Proteome Project, CHPP. A primary goal of our chromosome-centric Human Proteome Project, CHPP, is to identify and characterize proteins like mass spec evidence or antibody detection from the missing proteins. To this end, we we'll use various omics technologies, including RNA sequencing, SRMSA, and upfront bioinformatics tools and resources. The chromosome teams have been very active, and in fact, the Indian Chromosome 12 team has performed interesting work on glioblastoma. India leads the Chromosome 12 effort of HPP, uh, along with uh, four other Asian countries. The chromosome 12 coded genes and proteins are implicated in brain tumors and neurological disorders. So we're very excited to be part of the Chromosome 10 project. We decided that the best way to accomplish the goals of this project is so five group, the chromosome 15, chromosome 16, chromosome 19. The teams are not only focusing on identifying proteins which play a role in the cell, but also on developing new technologies. Collaboration is key to success in our endeavor. Biology Disease Driven Human Proteome Project, BDHPP. Biology Disease Initiative, um, as part of the Human Proteome Project, it started a few years ago with really the goal to be able to facilitate the use of proteomics into the broader disease and biology. The Human Plasma Proteome Project, Brain Proteome Project, liver, kidney and urine. BDHPP aims at expanding our understanding of the human proteome with a focus on changes accompanying the different stages of the diseases. The Human Brain Proteome Project aims at identifying molecular mechanisms and biomarkers involved in neurodegeneration and other brain-related disorders. The Human Liver Proteome Project aims to define a comprehensive and dynamic human liver proteome and identify novel proteins relevant in liver biology and pathology. The Cardiovascular Initiative aims at elucidating disease mechanisms and identifying candidate therapeutic targets to provide clinically useful diagnosis and risk prediction. The Kidney and Urine Proteome Project aims at understanding kidney functions and pathophysiology of kidney-related disorders. Human Infectious Disease Project aims to understand host pathogen interactions of several important human infectious diseases. We are interested to develop multiplex assays of candidate targets in infectious disease, especially 
febrile diseases caused by flaky virus resource pillars human proteome project in addition to bd hpp and chpp teams we have three resource pillars affinity based protein capture mass spectrometry and knowledge based bioinformatics this project began with the protein standard initiatives psi in fact proteome exchange makes it possible to upload the primary data set with raw spectra from mass spectrometry place the data in pride or srm for targeted proteomic studies we have several goals at the uh, knowledge base pillar um, the major components of the knowledge base pillar are nextprot which is the primary knowledge base for the human proteome project so the peptide atlas that we produce at the institute of systems biology provides the groundwork for a lot of the identifications for by mass spectrometry the human proteome project has developed common metrics and guidelines that allow open and rapid exchange of high quality data it is now building strategies to discover those proteins where only low astringency evidence exists um, a crucial component also of the knowledge base pillar our set of guidelines which we have developed in uh, coordination with the proteomic standards initiative and finally i want to mention that our sets of proteins particularly informative for the biology of one or another disease like diabetes or aortic aneurysms or other conditions where our colleagues throughout the life sciences research community could make very effective use of sets of proteins that are readily analyzable and quantifiable by proteomics. We're in a position where we can identify the missing proteins, annotate new regions of the genome and show that they encode proteins, as well as define the complexity of the transcript of and show which ones also encode proteins. HPP has a lot of momentum right now. I want to see us have huge impact on all the other communities. The genomics community, the metabolomics community, the microbiome community, Together we will be able to combine all this information and have huge impact on biology and medicine. We are proud of the progress of the Human Proteome Project and we are proud of the engagements throughout the community that the HUPO has stimulated.